Hello lads, it's on me, Benny. In today's video, I'm a little bit tired since I recently just woke up. So in today's video, I plan to just do a simple video of explaining every perk uh, slash attribute in this game. If you don't know, when you create a new character, you can spin for uh, two different perks. And what perks are, it's basically if you go to stats here, you these two things at the bottom here. This is a perk and this is a perk. What these perks do is uh, very different because I'm not sure how many perks there are since I didn't count but there's a lot of perks and all of them do something special. So it basically just adds up to your build and makes you stronger in general. So I will take my time to explain every single one of them and let you know what I do, what the rarity is and uh, you know, what's the best use with these perks. So without further ado, let's get on with it, shall we? Uh, since I don't want to spin these perks, since I took long to get these perks, I'm not gonna spin. Uh, I'm just gonna show you the, tr the Trello, the official Trello for this game. Uh, I might link it in the description if I remember, but if not, just let me know in the comments. But this Trello is actually pretty damn handy. It says everything you need to know about the game, but in today's video we will cover the perks section right here. So we'll start with the most common ones, which are these three. They, these are the common rarity, as you can see. We first have Runner. Scroll down a little bit so you can see. There we go. Runner. You see down there? Runner. Simple. Runner is a common perk. It basically grants you more base movement speed. That's very simple. Like, you walk a little bit faster and run a little bit faster. That's what the runner does. So not something great, but you have it, you know. Might work sometimes, but I would not advise having this since more walk speed is not really necessary. You can just teleport with instant transmission, so I wouldn't recommend this one. Then we have luck. Uh, before I thought luck, you know, increased your boss drop rates, but apparently it doesn't. It only increases your critical strike chance, which is actually pretty good. Luck might be very good, depending on your build. Uh, like if you build a critical strike, a critical chance build, luck is pretty good since critical strikes deal a lot of damage. I think it like three times the damage, something like that, I don't know. But critical strikes are pretty deadly. And if you have a build that just focuses on critical strikes, you might be a deadly person. So this actually kind of can be very handy. It really depends. That's a common one as well. And then we have the last common one, which is Vitality. Vitality is a common perk granting 20 extra base health. This is pretty good early game, but late game this is pretty garbage, I must say. Accessories give the same amount of health as this perk, so yeah, I would not have Vitality at all. This is a no for me, big no for me. So that was all the three common ones. You most likely get these ones when you spin. I would advise spinning off instantly and probably get something better, but you know, if you get luck, might have to, you know, you might save it, because luck is actually probably the best common one of these three. Then we move on to the rare ones, which are these. We'll first cover the Moonwalk here. Enhanced Moonwalk. Basically, grants additional Moonwalk charges and decreases cooldown. This, what basically this does is you can jump uh, ex like jump more and decrease, de decrease the Dukan cooldown for, you know, so basically this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9. I have 9 Mostly because I have this perk, enhanced six styles, just everything. I'll explain more of that later. And I'm a Skypean, so I get extra charges by default. But yeah, this is pretty good. Uh, but uh, there's one, there's one better option than getting this. So I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't really want to get this unless you are leveling up Moonwalk. But it's pretty easy to level up without it. So yeah, I wouldn't highly, I wouldn't highly recommend this one. But you, you can keep it if you want. Next up is enhanced finger gun. This, like it says here, increases your finger gun damage and reduces skill cooldown. This is pretty, pretty good, I must say. And it also personally grants you more critical strike chains. That I didn't know. That's pretty handy. If you like, like I said, if you have this uh, luck here and you build a luck build with some accessories, uh, I mean critical strength, strike build, this might be pretty damn good. But the uh, enhanced finger gun, like I said, there's always one better option than this. But uh, if you want to level this up specifically, I guess this will work because it reduces the skill cooldown, which is pretty handy. The skill cooldown is already lower, I think. But yeah, this is a pretty good move nonetheless. I would probably... Uh, I wouldn't highly recommend getting this, but, you know, it's not too bad to keep it. Since it increases your critical strike chance. Pretty damn good. Next up is Enhanced Rankyaku, or... Uh, what do you call it? Crescent Kick, or... 
Uh, yeah, this one. <laughs> Tempest Kick. This increases the damage and lowers the cooldown. It's pretty self-explanatory. This is pretty good for training it as well since it lowers the cooldown. But like I said, again, there is a better option. So I will not get this one. Uh, enhanced Paper Arts. This is probably very good. Um, and I mean very, very good since it increases the chance for Paper Body to activate. Paper Bodies or Paper Arts is probably the most difficult things to uh, level up since... Um, it's very hard to get and like to get this activated because it's an RNG. It's complete RNG when it activates, and it only activates like once and like once every minute or something. Like if you're like if you're unlucky, I guess. But yeah, it's very hard to level this up. If you plan to level it up, it is pretty difficult. So having this on increases, you know, the leveling experience much much easier. So yeah, this is pretty highly recommended if you can level this up. And then we have enhanced Iron Body or Tech Kai. Uh, boosts your block power and grants more passive armor. This is pretty damn good because, uh, yeah, block power you can block longer and passive armor. I'm not sure what that means. I think it means, you know, you're more resilient to damage, I assume. Like some damages are nerfed. I don't know. I'm not sure what passive armor is, but I guess this is pretty damn good. To an extent, I wouldn't get this myself, but, you know, if you want to train it, here you are. Enhanced instant transmission. This is Pretty good, and I mean very, very good. Grants instant transmission additional range. Basically, you can teleport further. This is pretty handy since teleporting is probably your main source of uh, of uh, movement in this game. Uh, that is not on the water, and it lowers the cooldown of the instant transmission uh, charges, which is pretty damn good. So this is probably the, one of the best ones out of the rares. That was pretty much all the rares. That's just six styles in separate forms. Uh, the best ones is probably instant transmission, paper arts, and yeah, those two are the best ones. Uh, finger gun comes in a close second, and so does iron body. Run Kyaku and moonwalk is something you don't need, not at all. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend that. Now we come to the legendary tab, which is the, probably the most broken stuff in this game. Here we have six styles, just regular six styles. This is a high tier perk that gives a boost to all of the six style skills. Basically, I think this is a collection of all of these perks into one singular perk. That's my theory. There might be an answer somewhere. If you know like the, the, the full on answer, then please let me know in the comments. But what I think is it's like all of these are in are fused into one perk, which is, you know, godly. You need this one. Like need need this one. This might this is probably your top priority in getting uh, when, when you know getting perks if you get this one do not roll it away because this is probably the strongest perk you'll have in this game uh, both to you know leveling up and to use this you know because they are pretty it's pretty deadly then we have advanced kenbun shook basically enhanced observation hockey this is pretty pretty strong if you want to level up observation hockey it reduces the hockey cost for dodges yeah this is pretty very very good for leveling up observation hockey since observation hockey is probably the one of the most difficult hockeys to uh, to level up well except for conquerors hockey but this one pretty damn good if you want to level up fast there's better options for sure but you know if you want to level up observation hockey specifically you should get this one then we have advanced busushoku hockey or armament hockey this is the only hockey that allows you to have full body hockey as it says there allows a full body use of busushoku uh, Buso Shoku, I said it right. But it requires 400 mastery to get uh, full body. And what full body does is basically just, yeah, grants you additional HP. It's pretty damn good. Very simple. Uh, but uh, full body is very strong since, you know, you're pretty tanky with full body. And you look cool, right? <laughs> you look pretty cool with full body, I gotta say. But yeah, that's full body uh, or advanced Buso Shoku Haki. And then we have advanced weapon Buso Shoku Haki or advanced weapon armament Haki. Uh, I have this myself. And this grants a weapon aura, so basically your weapon looks pretty damn cool. That's just the cosmetic part. What it does is it grants a power boost when hacky is activated. What that means is your damage is severely increased. And I mean a lot. Get out of us getting this if you are a sword-focused build. Or similar to, you know, a sword-focused build. Then we have the last legendary, which is the red hair pirate. Hashoku or Shanks Conquer's Hockey. What this does is basically buffs all Conquer's Hockey uses, increases its char uh, range, uh, and decreases the cooldown. So um, basically, this is a passive. Basically, you know, you get a stronger Conquer's Hockey. 
and it allows you to have one free use of Conqueror's Hockey per spawn without owning the Game Pass. So the only way to get Conqueror's Hockey is to have the Game Pass. But with this perk, you get a free Conqueror's Hockey once every respawn. Like if you use it once, you have to kill yourself to use it again. Uh, and uh, But if you have the Game Pass, it allows you to use the Conqueror's Hockey uh, with now without any drain on the hockey bar since conquer hockey use 50% of your hockey bar I'm pretty sure this one will allow you to do one for free if you have the game conquer hockey game pass if you don't I don't think this applies but this is pretty good if you don't have the game pass already because if you don't have the game pass you get it for free so to say for one charge uh, but that was all the legendaries out of all the legendaries i would say uh, six styles is probably the best and i would say uh, weapon and conquer sake uh, these two right here is probably a close second the worst one actually i would say maybe full body and observation hockey is like is you know neck on neck on the, the worst legendary but just because they're the worst legendary doesn't mean they're bad at all like these are extremely good but there are always something that is better like six styles and probably this advanced weapon since this i feel I ha i've had almost all of these i almost like i have almost all of these except observation hockey so i can't say too much about this but i had full body and i had this and i would say my build was tremendously better when i got this when i switched out uh, full body hockey to weapon hockey or sword hockey my basically my build just got stronger but that's really dependent on builds like it's not you know it really depends on you as a person so for me uh, six styles is a must 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 have for me and this is also a must have uh conquer Saki is pretty good and all but i have the game pass so i don't need this necessarily what i need though is probably the the best perk in this game which is the godly perk which is the only godly perk its own rarity this is the straw hat uh, Haushoku or Luffy Conquer Saki. What this does is it gives you an automatic Conquer Saki activation when reaching low health. So basically, a last resort automated uh, Conquer Saki activation. Uh, pretty cool. And I guess it doesn't drain any hockey when you use it. But to use Conquer Saki at your will, you're still required to buy the Game Pass, but this perk will still activate if you don't have the Game Pass. So basically, this gives you a free Conquer Saki, but you can't use it willingly. Like, this is a automated conquer hockey you don't need the game pass to use this one with the game pass you can control it but without the game pass you can't control it but no matter if you have or don't have the game pass you will still activate it automatically when low health so this is a pretty good conquer hockey i want to get this but i haven't been able to get it yet since this is a godly rarity it's the rarest things you can get in this game and uh, yeah i've not been lucky at all so pretty pretty difficult to get but I would highly advise getting it if you have or keep it if you have it. So, you know, yeah, that's pretty, pretty much all the perks in this game. That's pretty much the, the most in-depth I can go with these perks. I don't know how to get, go more in-depth, but I'm just, that's, the, that's what the description says. The, the description is pretty scarce. I can't go into full, full detail, but, you know, that's how it is. Hope you like this video and hopefully it helped. And I'll see you all in a later video. Peace.